Okay, this is where we came in. I see. Because, yeah, yeah, then this, you smacked the thing, that door opened. I got it. I see. Oh! Okay, note to self. Don't try and counter that. Just avoid it. It makes sense. That one also explodes. As is that one. There we go. And we got another charm. Uh, we got a hollow nest seal. Whatever that does. Oh, I see map stuff. Map boy is here. He's this way. Cornifer, hello. I have heard of this. This is a good game, but I've never played it. That's what I've heard as well as Ender Knight. Like, I've heard that it's amazing. I've just never played it myself. It's been sitting in my Steam library for like two years, and it's been on my list of things to play. I've just never gotten around to it. In my youth, I'd have played the caves that I feel my matured physique wouldn't be able to outrun them. Purchase a map. Absolutely. Sign me up. Okay. So we have our map now for the fungal wastes. So it's not like, it looks like I can't just time a jump and be like, we're there. Yeah. Okay, so I can't get up there right now. Done with Monster Hunter already? Uh, no, not done. Just uh, doing other things for a bit. But, like, still gonna play Monster Hunter with Wifey. Just don't really feel the need to do a whole lot more Monster Hunter on my own. Since at this point, I don't I don't have, like, everything unlocked, but I have a good chunk of stuff unlocked. Isn't this something? I'm not expected you to discover so huge a stag station after that foggy descent. The bugs of Hollowness must have been an impressive lot, building such grand structures so far into these wilds. Seems the dangerous creatures about it haven't made their way in yet here. Uh, made their way in here. It's the perfect place for a quick rest. Did you purchase the expansion as well or just the main game? The, the expansion for what? For Monster Hunter? Yes. I've put many, many hours into both. Okay, that doesn't help much. Uh, Alright, well, what else we got around here? So this is, this is the Queen Station. Right. Uh, ooh, I don't know. Can we get back up? Yeah, we can. But we can't get over there. Yeah, I'm I'm aware, Ender. I do, you know, have the internet. <laughs> I do follow people on Twitter. I'm fully aware of the changes that are coming out in Minecraft 1.16. No, it's all good. Hmm. Let's heal. I don't know what we're supposed to be doing here. 
Uh, I do know that this is definitely not an area we can do anything with right now. I also know that exploding things are generally bad. So perhaps this is an area that we come back to at a later time. Oh, who are you? Listen. Hello there, dearie. I was about to close up shop and run until you came along. I provide a banking service. Losing one's geo is a terrible thing, and that's so much more likely if you carry, a, uh, carry it about on yourself. But my vault is much more secure. Sure. So we can have a bank account. Gotcha. I mean, I don't have any geo to deposit, but that does seem useful. I can't do anything there. What about down here? Come in search of treats, have you? I chanced upon a unique little fungus growing right above us. I found it only in this station, and the taste is just divine. Okay. Willow. This place must once have been quite the hub built at the border between two lands that Misty dropped one side and those bulbous growths on another. Neither place seems particularly welcoming, so while my little treats last, I think I'll stay right here. Okay. Interesting. Off to watch the motorcycle. All right, Scout, have a good one. All right, we found a bench. And then this is a toll station, but we don't have any money to put in a toll station. So we'll have to come back to that one once we actually have money. Can't do anything with that either. And we can't do anything with that. That's also something we'll have to come back for. Why am I so bad at parkour? Platforming. Not my strong suit, apparently. There we go. Game looks neat. What's it about? That's a great question. Um, this is Hollow Knight. It is a non-linear uh, Metroidvania game. Beyond that, I don't know too much about it, other than that people tell me it's one of the greatest games ever made. Chat seems to confirm that theory, by the way. Chat's like, yeah, this is my favorite game of all time. Oh, oh, oh Wells, it's going to be so good. You're in for a treat. I'm like, okay. <laughs> people say it's amazing, so we're, we're playing it. Uh, we've already done You Fool. All right, we can't do anything with that at all. Never heard of it? I mean, it's an indie game. So, unless you pay a lot of attention to indie games, it's not surprising that you wouldn't have ever heard of it. Indie games rarely have multi-million dollar marketing budgets. That was real dumb of me, but okay. Actually, you know what I should do?
Let's try to figure out. How to get closest thing to an indie game you have is Monster Hunter. Well, Monster Hunter is definitely not an indie game in any way, shape, or form. Monster Hunter is made by Capcom with a like multi-million dollar budget. Yes, dear. Okay, one second, chat. Wifey well, needs to ask me something. Okay, sorry about that, chat. You will. Okay. Barbecue sauce? Okay, thank you, dear. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry, chat. When the wife comes in to ask a question or to talk about something, it's always important. Because she knows better than to interrupt the stream for nonsensical, silly things. So, um, yeah, anyway. We're back. Uh, apologies for the delay there. Here's what we're going to do. We know that there's a bench down here. And since we can change our charms at the bench, we might as well do so. The compass only costs one. So let's throw that up there. And that way we have the compass. And we can see where we are on the map. Although, I, I'm already, like, to be honest. See, here's the thing that you may not know. All right. Younger y gamers these days. You youngins have it so easy. I remember back in my day, we didn't have fancy things like maps with icons that showed you exactly where you were. Back in my day, when you played a Metroidvania, you would just have a map of the castle and the room would light up to tell you you were somewhere in a big old room. <laughs> Kids these days have it so easy. So reliant on your compasses and waypoint markers. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, no, but the, the, the whole point of that is this chat. I've been playing Metroidvanias since uh, forever. All right. I've played Castlevania. I've played the old Metroid games. I've played, uh, actually all the Castlevanias, but a good chunk of the Castlevanias. Dude, Castlevania on Game Boy Advance, whatever one that was, Symphony of the Night, I think. That was an amazing game, by the way. Just it was a fantastic game. Now, here's the problem. I'm not actually sure how to get out of here. Because, like, we need money. Well, I suppose we could get out of here with the, the cable car or the, the taxi or whatever. Is the plural for compass... Compi? No, it's compasses. I'm 90% laughs and 10% derps. I think it's at least like an 89-11 ratio. I need you to die. These guys, these big fat guys don't drop money. And we've already learned that we're not getting out this way without taking a ton of damage. So... What is our solution? It's a great question, chat. It's a great question. I know it's not that. Ow. Rude. It's some falling there. It's not great. Yeah, grind money. That's kind of the plan. At least for the moment. This dude 
He gotta go. It, it, his range, it never ends. He has infinite range. You get to die. They do drop money. In fact, they actually drop a decent amount of money. If you feel so inclined as to actually kill them. Like, six Geo is not a lot, but it's an okay amount. Watching the balloon, the balloon monsters deflate and then blow away is fun. I, I don't disagree with you. Does this thing die? It does die. I don't know that it's worth it. It may die, but I don't think it's worth it to try and actually kill this thing. Like, you're talking three hits. Oh, mm, dude, the explosions. Yeah, so those guys are annoying. Not gonna lie. We can deal with them, but they're pretty annoying. So we needed to get what, 120? You can fall fast. But like, what? Why? why do I need to? For what reason would I need to fall fast? Speed? I mean, I think I move plenty quick. I'm happy with my current speed. It's good enough. I'm gonna leave this play just unlocked Iceborne on the new playthrough. Oh, nice. I'll have fun. You open one of the menus and you fall. That sounds like a terrible idea. Why was the, that sounds like unintended behavior. It's used in speedruns and on old versions. Yeah. Here's the thing, chat. I'm not a speedrunner, and I never will be. If you want to see pro speedrun strats, go watch a speedrun. All right? That applies not only to Hollow Knight, but any other game. If you want to see the pro the pro, the pro strats that the speedrunners use, then go watch a speedrun. Okay? Because I'm not doing them. Not only... Is that not how I like to play video games? It never will be. Like, when I was playing Breath of the Wild, people were like, hey, you should do the whistle sprint. Speedrunners do it. It's great. I'm like, dude, if you want to see the whistle sprint, go watch the speedrun. <laughs> like, I'm not doing it. Not how I like to play games. Hey, Wells, you know you can skip this entire section if you just execu execute glitch number 324? Yeah, but I'm not a speedrunner. I'm enjoying the game and having fun with it. See you watching, Hermit. Have a good one. go we only need like 30 more coin and then we're good i think right it was 120 
Yeah, 120. Hey, bullet. Are you now grinding to unlock the stag station? Yeah, we just need like 30 more geo. And then it's done. Oops. <clears throat> We've already got the map for this area. I don't know like what else is actually down here. But I don't think there's a whole lot that we can really do without. I, I, I feel like we're kind of in an area where it's like you need new abilities to get farther. I guess I should have actually rested at the bench to reset all the enemies. Yeah, uh, that was so dumb. <laughs> Self. Why would you do that? It was not the right answer. Why if he just brought me food? <laughs> Why if he brought me? So I asked Wifey if she would make me a couple of uh, slow cooker chicken barbecue sandwiches. One of them mysteriously has like four bites taken out of it. <laughs> fantastic what am i trying to accomplish uh basically i need 120 geo which is basically gold or money or currency or whatever <laughs> to unlock this which gives me a fast travel point so that's what i'm working on right now i only we only need like 20 more and by reset by sleeping at the bench i believe that resets all the enemies so hopefully one more little run through and we'll be good. It's the first time that I've actually been like, wow, we actually need to grind for money. If I want to do this. Hmm. That was my fault. Twice? Hit by the same enemy twice. What can I say, chat? I'm basically a god at video games. There we go. That takes care of you. And there we go. We have enough. Wow. 10 out of 10. There we go. No, I'm pretty sure it was not Remy who was eaten out of my sandwich. <laughs> if it was Remy, there wouldn't be a sandwich left. I bet it was. All right, so now we can unlock this. We can summon the little taxi. Take a peek at our map. And then we can go back to Dirt Mouth. Because we found uh, someone who was like, hey, when you come back to Dirtmouth, 
stop in and I can repay you for helping me or something like that. So, all right, chat, I'm going to take a very short break, just a couple minutes long so I can scarf down these uh, sandwiches real quick. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. <laughs> 